hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today i am showing you how to make this delicious plantain porridge trust me you will love it so if you're interested just keep watching So for this recipe, you will need plantain, the very ripe plantain, like the one that you usually throw away, but do not throw it away no matter how black <laughs> the skin is. So your plantain has to be very, very ripe and this is it. I'm cutting it into tiny, tiny pieces. Cut it as tiny as you can, yeah? So for this recipe, normally you cut it very tiny and you cook it like that and at some point you will use your mixer and blend the whole thing together. But for me, I make it easier, I will blend it before I start making the porridge so that once it's cooked, it's cooked. So I will start blending it now using my mixer, mixer yeah, and we will start making the porridge. But like I said, the original version, the, the original way of making it you cook it from the you leave it into tiny pieces and that's how you make the porridge and during the cooking there's a traditional broom there's a traditional stick yeah that they use in the village to blend and uh, to blend the, the plantain but if you don't have the, the traditional stick you can use the blender but like i said i'm making my life easier i blend my own before i start my porridge so now that everything is blended smoothly, we're gonna put everything in the pot, yeah? And we're going to season it. Once everything is in the pot, we're going to add some water. The quantity of water depends on you. It depends on how thick or how uh, runny you want your porridge to be. Yeah, if you want it very thick, don't add too much water. So it's up to you. For exact measurements, please have a look at the description box. I'll put everything in there, but then you will have to adjust the water, con uh, the water quantity according to your taste yeah so once we add the water we'll mix the whole thing together nicely and then we're going to add the peanut paste yes we're going to add peanut paste in there So it's time to add our peanut butter, peanut paste, yes. And what I like to do is for one plantain, I will add one tablespoon of peanut. So it's up to your taste as well. But for me personally, for one plantain, I add one tablespoon of peanut butter. You can add more or less, do it to your liking, it's up to you. And then we're going to add a bit of salt as well, just a pinch of salt. And normally you will add sugar to this as well. But the thing is my plantain was so ripe that there was no need for sugar because the porridge was sweet already it was sweet enough for me already so i didn't have to add no sugar but normally you should add some sugar in there if your plantain is not that sweet so you add your pinch of salt or maybe a bit more than a pinch depending on your taste and mix the whole thing together until it's well mixed and now we are just going to cover and allow it to cook on low heat not on high heat on low heat for 30 minutes yeah and make sure during the 30 minutes you have to come back from time to time just to mix it to make sure that it's not burning yeah that is it so as you go if you notice that your porridge is thick or is getting too thick because at some point it might thicken because of the plantain cooking you can add some water to dilute it 
until you reach the consistency the consistency <laughs> the consistency you are looking for or you desire So this is what it's looking like after 15 minutes of boiling. Yes, just leave it to keep. I'm just showing you, but because I came to mix it a bit, like I said, come from time to time and mix it to make sure it's not burning, but make sure it's on low heat. And yes, this is what it's looking like after 15 minutes. Now, after 25 minutes, this is what it's looking like. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add some palm oil and I'm adding some chili. The chili is optional, but I'm adding some chili to spice it up a bit. I think it's necessary here. I like it like that. So you might not want to add the chili, it's up to you, but add one tablespoon of uh, palm oil and mix it very well. You can skip the palm oil as well, but that gives you that original village taste <laughs> and this is a porridge that comes from uh, Ivory Coast the north area of the country that's where they eat this uh, porridge a lot yeah so that's it we're going to dilute a bit with water because for me it was getting a bit too thick again like I said I just said to your liking yeah and that's it we're gonna mix it and allow it to keep boiling for five more minutes and that is it the porridge is ready to serve it's delicious 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 <laughs> And voila, <laughs> the porridge is served, it's ready. And just for decoration purpose, you can sprinkle, you can, you know, swirl some palm oil on top of it, just like I did. Yes, and that is it. You can sprinkle some roasted peanuts on top as well. That's completely delicious as well. I didn't have any, but usually that's what I do. I put some roasted peanuts on top and eat it. Delicious. Thank you guys for watching my video and see you in my next video. Bye.